Alright, hello citizens of the Nudgeverse, it's Nudge here once again, and welcome back to the Labyrinth. So, um, of course, as always, I got some poetry for you guys, um, guys, and, uh, if this is your first time, um, watching Nudge's Success from the Labyrinth, uh, first of all, welcome, and if you're returning, welcome back. But if this is your first time, uh, what we do here is we read poetry, and sometimes some other stuff, but uh, mainly poetry, so I read three poems written by myself, and then two from other poets, so without further ado. Let's get right into it. Uh, so this first poem is called Tastes. <clears throat> Life has many tastes. Some sweet, some sour, some bitter, some salty, some perhaps even spicy. Take a bite of it all. So, um, so I, so if you've been on uh, the channel for a little while, then you've heard me talk about uh, life before, uh, and talk about how life has a variety of things to offer. Or, um, or because that usually is the case. He's not everything in life will be great. A lot, he, in fact, quite a bit of it might suck. Uh, let's be honest. But uh, uh, life has so much variety of it. You're gonna have moments where it's up, moments where it's down. Uh, learning experience, his uh, great memories, things like that. Uh, take it all, all into account. Take it all, all with you. Keep all of it uh, with you because life has so much to offer. Go out there and explore it all. Explore as much as you can uh, when it comes to life. Uh, this next one is called Alone. <clears throat> Sometimes I feel alone, even when going in public, surrounded by so many people, their faces, so clear yet so distant. People to talk to, yet I don't always want to talk. Connected, yet feeling so disconnected. Such a great big world, yet such a lonely island. And I'm sure some of you have felt like this uh, way before, where er, you you're, you feel alone even when you're not really alone. You feel kind of isolated. It, sometimes that's normal. Like, sometimes it happens, you know? Oh, uh, sometimes you just feel out of it. You feel like there's no one to talk to. And, of course, you try your best. You try to talk with uh, people. You try to surround yourself with friends. But sometimes you're just not really feeling it. And unfortunately, it does, uh, it does happen sometimes. Um, sometimes, uh, I uh, definitely try like talking with people about it or uh, trying to find a way to overcome it, but it does it does of course happen sometimes. Uh, this next one is called "50 Different Ways to Say I Love You." Ooh. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna go down. Each one is a number, or obviously. So oh, they're uh, in a list here. So I'm just gonna read them off. <clears throat> Every day with you is a blessing. I adore you. I appreciate you. I can't live without you. You're always on my mind. I always think about you. I care about you. I'm sorry. I'm thankful for you. I brought food. I want to spend time with you. Tell me about your day. I want to spend forever with you. You are my sunshine. You are my everything. Tell me what's wrong. You're beautiful. I'm so happy for you. I'm proud of you. I want to see the best from you. You're awesome. You are loved. Let's stay in and watch Netflix. I'm committed to you. Never leave me. I don't want to fight. I apologize. I brought you something. Merry Christmas. I've missed you. Have a great day. You're my best friend. You're my favorite. Marry me. I do. I brought pizza. I thought of you. I did the dishes. I washed everything. Get some rest. I want you to meet my family. I want you. I need you. My life is so much better with you. Where are you? Never let me go. I'll cherish you forever. Good night. You are the best, and I love you. So of course, showing several different ways that people show love, whether it be through words, uh, actions, uh, and um, uh, or even just like you know, cuddling in, watching Netflix, uh, buying food and stuff. For some people, food is their love language. And if you bought me pizza, I might marry you right on the spot. Which um, I saw a thing, I believe it was on Twitter. Uh, let me know if this is accurate or not. Netflix is raising the prices again, uh, but this time it's going up to eleven ninety nine, which is about the same price as Peacock. So. So, uh, thanks, Mom, for, for the Netflix account, but, uh, yeah, um, yeah, it's crazy how Netflix keeps up in the prices, yet people are so, like, unsatisfied with them, but, to, but in my defense, this was written a while ago, but, um, I actually forgot when I wrote, uh, this, uh, poem, because this 
this um this was written a little while ago but but yeah um so many different ways to show love so many different ways to show affection and appreciation and uh and there's and of course remember there's different types of love there's a French, there's obviously, you know, romantic relationship, but even, like, friendship, even family, yeah, there's different ways to show love, and there's different ways you can show love, so, oh, anybody in your life, go show love to them today, because, as when it comes to that person, you might not get tomorrow, but, uh, this next one is perfect for any occasion, and this is by Alberto Rios, <clears throat> pies have a reputation, and it's immediate, no talk of potential, regarding a pie, it's good, or it isn't, but mostly it is. Sweet, very sweet. Right then, right there, blue and red. It can't go to junior college. Work hard for the grades. Work two jobs on the side. It can't slowly build a reputation and a growing client base. A pie gets one chance, and knows it, wearing his makeup, those sparkling granules of sugar. As a collar of those diamond cutouts, he's speaking fair day. Felicity, contentment, I'll tell you everything is great, says a pie great and fun and fine and you smell nice too someone says a full pound of round sound all ah uh, all good pies live a life of applause but then there are the, the other pies the leftover pies the ones nobody chooses at thanksgiving mince meat what the hell is that people ask pointing instead at a double helping of mister i can do no wrong pecan pie but the unchosen pies have a long history too they have plenty of good stories places they've been. They were once fun, too, but nobody wants to listen to them anymore. Oh, sure, everyone used to love lard, but things have changed, brother. Things have changed. That's never the end of the story, of course. Some pies make a break for it. Live underground for a while, doing what they can, talking fast, trying to be sweet pizzas, if they're lucky. But no good comes of it. Nobody's fooled. A pie is a pie for one great day. Last week, it was jello. Tomorrow, it'll be cake. Um, so, oh, um, so, uh, a bit more on the humorous side, uh, you can tell definitely going for a more humorous tone in the poem, but definitely also a very important lesson in that about, about uh, expectations and identity. He, uh, as Alberto, uh, describes it with the analogy of pies, yet, you, you know, you have the pies that everybody loves, such as pecan pie, even though me personally, I hate pecans and pecan pie, uh, but, um, <clears throat> or pecan, or pecan, um, I, I know some people do pronounce it differently, but, um, but, yeah, me personally, I, I hate pecan pie or pecans, um, this is gross, but, um, but showing, um, uh, in, uh, such expectations, some will make it, some have to make it on different merits, some may try to be other things, some have a predestined past, so expectations and life and uh, kind of paths that we go down is, I think, the main point that Alberto is trying to demonstrate here, and the analogy of pies, I think, is well done, like, it's something you don't really think about, like, like pizzas, pizzas are, you know, pizza pies, some uh, pizzas are kind of defined as pies, uh, although, Oh, uh, is very, I don't, I don't fully know if I can define a pizza as pie, but, um, but a lot of people do, uh, let me, let me know what you guys think, but, uh, yeah, so showing, uh, the, di uh, showing, like, different expectations and stuff in life through the use of pie, I think is really cool and really fun and really tasty, except for that pecan pie. Uh, my favorite pie, personally, um, I'd probably say either sweet potato or apple or, or even a uh, bean pie like my grandfather uh used to make uh some delicious uh green uh bean pie and now uh my aunts do now as well uh oh uh, so oh yeah um uh it's actually not as bad as it sounds you may like bean pie not what, what the hell is that but it's actually really good uh but uh, the last one this last poem is called dust of snow and this is by robert frost uh, um the pun is there, but I'm not going to make it uh, today. <clears throat> the way a crow shook down on me, the dust of snow from a hemlock tree, has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of a day I had rude. So, oh, pretty much, uh, uh, as um, Robert Frost is describing here, he was having a kind of a bad day, but then the way snow uh, fell on him from a crow, you know, when the birds, like, shake the tree and the snow fell on him, and, uh, normally that would make it worse, like, I know me personally, if that happened to me, I would just be even more upset, but, uh, for him, he was like, oh, it's a bird, I, I can't get mad at the bird, or so, 
Alright, so, um, <clears throat> definitely elevating his mood, uh, seeing that, uh, the snow landing on him, him, uh, kind of trying, trying, kind of, um, excuse me, I cannot talk today, but, uh, trying to, um, take a negative and turn it into a positive sort of thing, seeing, uh, the crow, uh, with the snow falling on him, shaking, uh, the branch so that the snow fell on him, um, <clears throat> like, uh, kind of taking it in stride, like, oh, that, that was cute how the snow kind of fell on me and everything, uh, and, and, uh, pretty much, like, brightened the rest of his day, so his day was improved by seeing what happened, and sometimes that happens, you know, you may be having, like, the worst day, like, oh, like, just everything going wrong, and then something happens, you're like, oh, okay, oh, that's pretty nice, uh, I know I've definitely been there plenty of times, uh, but nevertheless, uh, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please do me a favor. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, turn on post notifications so you know every time I upload a video so you can see as soon as it drops. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on on uh, this episode and the poems and my analysis of the poems. Do you agree or disagree? He, uh, and what's your take on these poems? How do you interpret them? But thank you all so much for watching. I will see you guys later. Peace.